name is Nyla Woods. I'm your Pilates instructor. I teach Mac Pilates group classes. I also do personal training on the Pilates Reformer and our latest piece of equipment, the split pedal Pilates chair. I asked David to perform the sideline twist and oblique. So he's going to start on sideline, stacking the hips, hands find the pedal that's moving, that's our moving piece attached to the spring loaded resistance. It's organizing, really tying up underneath getting that stabilization through the upper body, stacking the hips, legs go long. I'm gonna assist with the hip opening stretch. Inhale, prepare, abdominals lift up and in. Exhale, pressing the pedal away, firing the obliques, feeling the stretch as it opens, floating the pedal up on his inhale. Really keeping his upper back stabilized strengthening, arm strengthening, upper body strengthening. As he lowers here, he can move into some tricep dips while keeping the stretch happening in the lower body. Obliques are still working to hold him in this position. Split pedal, deepening the rotation, the anti-rotation. Do you notice the right arm goes down, shoulders are squared, deep, deep, firing of the oblique sling system. Both arms press down. It's carefully going to allow the pedal to float up as I release his legs and he returns to the starting position. David, tell me about your experience with the sideline oblique twist exercise. Chair. I really like the chair. It adds a severe challenge to the core, uh, especially with the single leg or single arm pushes. Uh, it really creates that separation side to side challenge. Uh, I really think everyone should keep an open mind when trying the Pilates studio. Uh, it's something that can add a lot to your daily routine and make you feel a lot better. With the addition of the chair to our Pilates repertoire, we can focus on enhancing stability, strength, and stretching of the entire body. That's what Pilates is all about. Thanks for joining us.